Magandang araw mga pre, mayong adlaw po sa mga bisaya diha. Miguel Cotto, ang tinaguriang top body puncher ng welterweight division noon. Sa video ito pag-usapan natin ang labang Cotto versus Pacman at kung bakit walang rematch na nangyari. Pero kung bago ka sa aking munting tahanan, pasuporta naman pre, click mo lang ang subscribe button at notification bell button para lagi kang updated sa mga videos ko. Si Miguel Cotto mga pre, ay isa sa pinakagusto kong boxer. Bukod sa magaling ito, ay malinis ito kung lumaban. Ang laban nila ni Pacquiao ay naganap noong November 14, 2009 sa Las Vegas sa USA na may pamagat na firepower. Dihado si Manny Pacquiao sa pustahan. Maraming boxing analyst ang pumabor kay Cotto dahil sa laki at lakas nito. Nag-abot sila sa welterweight division. 145 pounds ang naging timbang nila. Sa laban na to, bit bitbit ni Manny Pacquiao, ang kartadang 49 wins, 3 losses, at 37 dito by Akio habang si Miguel Cotto naman ay may 34 wins, only 1 defeat at 27 dito by Akio. Kapwa galing sa panalo ang dalawa. Si Miguel Cotto ay galing sa panalo kay Joshua Cloutie via split decision at si Pacman naman ay galing sa napaka-impresibong panalo kontra sa kilabot ng Briton na si Ricky Hatton via second round TKO. Kilala si Miguel Cotto mga pre sa kaniyang pamatay ng mga body punch na siyang naging signature punch na rin niya. Kaya maraming pumabor sa kanya sa unang round ng bakbakan. Nagpakitang gilas agad si Koto, kumukonekta ng mga solidong jabs. Pero sa second round, ay tila alam na ni Pacman ang gagawing diskarte sa laban. Round 3 ay dito na pinatikim ni Manny Pacquiao si Koto nang matindi niyang right hook na siyang nagpabagsak sa kanya. Nakatayo pa ito at natapos ang third round pero naulit ito noong fourth round nang matamaan ng left uppercut na nagpaluhod sa kanya sa lona. Kahit duguan ay nakatayo pa rin itong si Koto at natapos ang round. Bahagyang nakabawi si Koto sa round 5. Pero mula around 6 ay makikitang wala na talagang laban itong si Koto. Umaatras na lang at dumidepensan lang ito. Pero talagang matibay itong pambato ng Puerto Rico. Pinilit na sumabay sa laban at tapusin ang bawat round. Pacquiao on big. 
Cotto trying to time that. He's impressing me with the shots he's been able to take. Because Cotto's landed some pretty solid shots, and Pacquiao's taken well, which is a big concern. Yes. First round, we set it in respect. It, it just seemed like he was trying to figure out the way to attack, and he figured it out. He did. All exactly. angles. Look, all fresh angles. New punching opportunity. Yeah, he's the aggressor now. Cotto, the, the fight is completely switched here. Cotto is the guy backing up and trying it's, to box. It's the height of irony. And Cotto is breathing with his mouth wide open. Cotto's fight, man, he blocked it this time. And he's trying to move. Now they want him to box and circle the ring. A punch, that's what I mean. He's got to knock him out. I still think Cotto could win the fight on points, but I think he would need to score a knockdown along the way to do that. Boy, Pacquiao very much, again, in control. Very measured, measured aggression. The fight in Burso, he eats a left hand. Effective, but he's surviving. He got his arm up in time to block the shot yep. by Pacquiao. Look into the champion. And a smaller man blocking him down. Moving him to the ropes. The big left hand, which he's tried to pack you out with that burst of firepower. Winning this round as well, it would appear. Retreat, he's on the ropes now. Pack you out with three shots after three shots. The faster man. The aggressor getting against the ropes. Oh, yes. Another one. Another one. Will that be a factor? It's pretty late. He's quick to make adjustments, and then he just overwhelms you with his counter, so it's hard for you to counter that. Yeah, that's a good point. I think Cotto got there stunned. He got there he comes. I saw him back off. And now, all about aggression. This could turn into a war of attrition right now. A couple of big power shots just missed. Oh, and that's now the champion absorbing punches. Could turn into a systematic beating unless the champion could turn things around. Oh, and now he's wobbled badly. Oh, oh, a big combination by Miguel. Oh, yeah, but the this champion. is a beatdown now, Mario. It is. It's systematic. With the tap of the gloves. Another flurry. Drives the champion. Boy, back. look at the face. It looks terrible on, on Cotto. He's getting all puffy. No reason to, to want to answer that. Cotto. Hasn't looked crisp this round, but Miguel would like to start something with a big, that big left hook of his. He's got to ignite something offensively. Big turn to settle a little bit. It's almost like a matador waiting for the bull to yep, slow down for the final slow. He didn't get hurt any worse than that round. And he gathered himself a bit. It wasn't an enthusiastic yes by Miguel. No, it wasn't. And if he gets it, translator, friend, confidant. To the punch count, and the rate is way down for both guys in this fight. And Fred and Pacquiao, he's controlled this pace the entire fight. There he goes when he walks. With a line in what he wants. Coming in there, but he's full of fight now. Cotto just has not been able to offer much in return in the last couple of rounds. No, he's, it's, it turned into survival. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, he's moving well. Sa 12 round ay bugbog sarado na talaga itong si Cotto. At bago matapos ang huling round, ay tinapos na ng referee ang laban dahil sobrang parusa na ang ibinigay ni Pacman. Panalo si Manny Pacquiao via TKO at tinanghal na the new WBO champion. Sa isang interview, inamin ang kampo ni Koto na di daw talaga nila inakala at inasahan ang lakas ng kamao ni Pacman. Ayon naman kay Koto, ay isa si Manny Pacquiao sa pinakamagaling niyang nakalaban 
Di daw niya magawang dipinsahan ang kaniyang sarili. Di daw niya alam at di daw nakikita ang mga kamao ni Pacman dahil sa sobrang bilis nito. Ayon naman kay Manny Pacquiao ay target talaga niya ang maagang knockout. Pero talagang matibay daw itong si Koto na injured pa dito ang kanang kamay ni Pacman pero di naman daw ito malala sabi ng kaniyang kampo. Nakuha ni Manny Pacquiao ang WBO Welterweight Belt at ang WBC Diamond Belt at ito na nga ang ikapitong world title ni Manny Pacquiao sa iba't ibang division. Pagkatapos ng laban ay may posibleng rematch na napag-usapan pero hindi natuloy dahil sa hindi pagkakasundo ng hatian ng pera at sa timbang na gusto ni Koto. Gusto kasi niya na mag-abot sila sa 150 pounds pataas dahil isa sa rason kung bakit natalo daw siya ay dahil sa pagbaba niya ng timbang na nagresulta ng paghina niya. Dagdag pa ni Koto, kung magaling daw at hindi daw takot si Manny Pacquiao ay mag-abot daw sila sa 154 pounds pero hindi na nga nagkasundo ang dalawang kampo. Kayo mga pre, kung natuloy ang rematch nila at sa timbang na 154 pounds sila mag-abot, kaya pa kaya ni Manny Pacquiao na patumbahin at talonin si Miguel Koto? Shoutout kay Rios Craes, Rins TV, Greg Picasso, Ruel Omega from Tanawan Leyte, Jun Butalon TV, shoutout din daw kay Marivic at Ninyo Greg, Very Cas, Jose Gora Jr. Ingat kayo dyan pari at maraming salamat sa panunood.